this Reddit post, I realized this was not just my problem, but also it was a problem people were experiencing. This is the purpose of this video, is to install Stable Diffusion all over again, not in Drive C, but in Rectifying Drive. Before going ahead with my installation, I, I considered if I should just copy this folder, which maybe some of you might be thinking, and just move to this drive, right, and just paste it here. However, from my research, uh, you can have broken files when running your command file, Python, and it gets complicated. The best advice or research conclusion I came up with was to rather install everything again, rather than uh, just copying from your previous drive C onto the new drive you want to install on. Or just to mention, this guide will be for Windows PC and also NVIDIA graphics card. Uh, the first thing we need to do is to visit the automatic 1111 web page which i am going to include all the links in the description usually there's a misconception of stable diffusion and automatic 1111 but basically this is just the user interface that allows us to use um, stable diffusion so once we are here we can see this is a four step process we are going to follow the first process which is to install python so i'm just gonna um, right click here to open the python link well, from my previous experience installing on my drive c i realized 10.6 did not work for me what i used was uh, python 10 3 10.9 so if we come here we can go to all releases and if you're having a problem with 10.6 you can try other versions of python to see if that works for you so you go to all releases right you click here when you come down here, you can find different versions of Python. Well, I will just download this one here and it brings me to this page. And what we need to do is we just scroll down and we select Windows Installer 64 bit. I am just going to install everything onto my new hard drive, but I'll just keep this. I'll just make a folder here. And then we download into this drive. You don't necessarily have to save this into this drive. You can save this into your normal downloads drive. So we go back and once Python is down downloading, you can see we have the Python here. I'm going to minimize this. We go back to the UI page and the next thing is to install the Git file, which I'll right click, open in a new tab. All we need to do is to download this file here, which is the standalone installer. So I'll click on this and once I click on this, I'm still going to save it to the downloads save this here and we can see we have these two files here which are the only things we need to have stable diffusion installed so like i said before my python version might be different which is 10.9 and i realized that worked for me earlier on and like i explained you can try multiple versions to see which ones work so once this open you guys can see um, it tells me to modify repair or install because I already have uh, my Python installed for my earlier stable diffusion folder, right? But if you guys don't see this, basically, it's just going to tell you to install from scratch, right? So you just follow the same process. So what I did was I just clicked repair. And uh, like I said before, I already had this installed, but I wanted you guys to see this from scratch. So I went to repair and I'm hoping this actually works. But uh, we wait to see uh, the installation complete and then we get back to install our git file. So once the installation is done, you guys should see something different as installation successful. Since I already had mine already installed, we go for repair was successful. So we are going to close this. Uh, and the next thing is to do is to install the git file. Also, I already have my git installed so um, i'm doing this again i don't know if this might cause any issues but um, the only thing to do with this git file is to click next and it says removing previous git version 241.0 because i already had the first one installed so uh, let's see what happens so my git um, installation is complete and now one thing i wanted to mention is maybe you guys wouldn't have the experience i had but if you open your Git and you are installing this for the first time, all you need to do is just click next throughout the entire process. Leave everything at default and don't change anything. Just go next, 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 next uh, through the entire process till you get to your installation and complete uh, wizard panel comes up and it's done. 
However, I only had this straight ahead because I had already installed my Git and I have gone through that process. So it only updated my Git from the previous installation. So like I said, you guys just click next through the entire process. And uh, if you also have the situation I have, you just uh, run it and I'm sure it's just going to update your previous Git. So we just untick this and um, only show me new options. We just go finish so we can close this folder. Uh, our third step here is to copy this. Now, this is the most important part, right? We need to create a folder where we can always locate automatic 1111. And this is where all our files from the GitHub is going to be installed. So this is where we are going to avoid going to drive C, but now we go to our drive D or any drive you have which is um, spacious to install your automatic 1111. So I would come to my drive here and this is where I am going to create my file to clone my automatic 1111. You guys can name this anything you want. I'm going to open this, come here. Uh, we highlight everything and we type our CMD. So you will type CMD here to open your command directory. And once this is opened, you just need to come here and uh, we paste whatever we copied here. Uh, make sure you have this in the beginning. Control V to paste. So what this means is Git, which is the application we installed, is going to clone everything from the web page onto our drive D or wherever you want to install Stable Diffusion to. So I'm going to hit enter now and then we'll have to wait to see what happens. So already you guys can see in the directory, it has created a stable diffusion web UI folder, which usually it's in our drive C, but now everything is happening in the specific drive, which we want to install uh, automatic 11.11. So as we can see um, in the command directory, it says this is done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this and uh, we have now our folder here for stable diffusion. Uh, let's see if we are not going to have any issues and I'm going to open this. Uh, usually it takes some time for the first time wherever you are installing your folder or stable diffusion into to just download a few more folders into that specific drive and uh, once it's done you guys will see it's just going to give us a local URL which we can copy to a browser tab to open next. Alright, so this is done. It took probably a few minutes. What you need to do now is to see and look out for this um, local URL, which we are going to copy from here. Control C, go into your web browser. You open a new tab, paste this here. This should open stable diffusion from your drive D and uh, you no longer have to open it from your drive C. So I'm going to close this and I'm going to close this as well. We don't need this. I'm going to close this as well since everything is done. Make sure you have your local URL provided for you to know it is done. So I'm going to start everything from, from the top for us to see. So you guys can see it has already taken some space from this drive. So I double click here. Let's see if this is going to open the usual way. I come down here, um, I right click, open correctly. So everything was a success. Once you guys have this, you can always copy your local um, like we did before. But before we open it for the second time, we are going to edit our user BAT file. We we'll go to edit. And uh, once we come here into the edits, these are a few things we can put by default to make stable diffusion a much more uh, good experience. So uh, I just go space dash dash x formers. This basically means stable diffusion is going to increase the speed for generating images on your graphics card. Uh, the next one will be dash dash mode RAM. Stable diffusion is going to use less of your VRAM on your graphics card, you know, whilst processing your images. But usually I don't use mid RAM because my graphics card is good enough to handle um, the VRAM size that is required. Another argument you can put in is dash dash. Mm, dark. So if you prefer a dark over a light mode. And the next one, which I always have included is um, dash dash auto launch. 
once we put auto launch here it's automatically it's just going to open in your default browser previously i used to have git pool here which i was using before but from my experience which i have shared in my previous video i'm going to put the link to the top right if you want to have a deep dive into what really happens to have your git pool here you can check out the video um, link on the on the top right i'm going to take out git pool i don't use that anymore um you're going to come save and we'll close this so let's see what's going to happen open so this automatically just opened the browser for you here for the first time by default it gives you this model here by default but then you have more advanced models you can always download to use here in your checkpoints rather than the default we can find these models over at civet.ai and i'm also going to include the link in the description this is my main reason for moving my stable diffusion from drive c onto my drive d because i realized these checkpoints are very very huge in size and it's usually advisable to have as many checkpoints as possible because you can always experiment and you are not limited to two or three and when you come to highest rated right you can always choose uh, which one here but if we go to all time and the way you can download this is once you click on rev animated it's going to open up for you already the size of just this model which is almost five gigs right so this will already take up your space on your drive c so i'm going to download this so once you have this downloaded you have to locate back to your stable diffusion folder and here you need to save this to your models be careful models and modules i will go to models and we select the stable diffusion folder and here is where we are supposed to have all our ai models so instead of going ahead to download all these models once again i'm going to come to my drive c models and stable diffusion and these were all the models i had previously so i'm just going to copy all of this here right and i'm going to go to my new drive automatic 11 this here i'll come to models stable diffusion and i'm just going to paste this here we have everything copied into our new drive drive d and as a suggestion before you go ahead to install your new automatic 11 11 onto a new drive do not delete the one you have on your drive c until you are done with all the installation on the new drive right so once you have completed your installation on your new drive then you can go ahead to maybe take out everything uh, from your drive c uh, next thing we'll do is to go back to stable diffusion what we have to do is hit refresh and once we refresh we bring this down we can see all our new models are here previously from drive c into the new drive and uh, from here we can start generating and uh, playing around with all of these models so i just copied this prompt um, i had previously and i'm going to use the model for flat 2d merge okay i'm just going to keep all of this at default and i'm just going to wait once this is done loading we we'll just generate to see what we have all right so we can also try a new model and this is how you have automatic 1111 on your hard drive instead of your drive c with limited space with enough space you can experiment more by downloading more models lores and other assets to make your generations advanced and you guys can see here what we get from dream shaper instead of the other two so so far for now i don't have my default room extension tab however if this was helpful, you guys can check out the next video on the screen.